Hey guys, all right, let's look at uh, scientific notation. Okay, so scientific notation trips people up um, an awful lot, um, and not necessarily for any really good reason, right? In that uh, when we look at it, it tends to look really hard at first, um, but if you know what to do with it, it's not really that bad. So let's, let's go over how we do these, right? So we're gonna do, I think we have like six different examples here. Okay, so um, we'll start here with uh, 6.7. So we have 6.7 times 10 to the third. Okay, so here's here's the rule. So 6.7 times 10 to the third, how do we figure that out? Okay, so we have our 6.7, and the rule is for every one of these exponents, we're going one decimal to the right. Okay, assuming the decimal is, the exponent is positive, we'll deal with the negative exponents here in a second. Okay, so that would mean we're going three spots to the right, like one, two, three, right? And so for the places where there's no numbers to the right, we'll just add a, throw a zero on there, like there and there. And then the decimal point would be like right here, right? And then it would be like, so it'd be 6700.0 or just 6700, right? And that's our answer, right? 6.7 times 10 to the third, 6,700, right? So that wasn't too bad, right? It's just remembering uh, or learning that little rule about going to the right. Okay, now let's look at a negative one. And we'll go back to some positive examples so you can see a few of these, um, which a lot of times that's the key in math is seeing like a few different examples where we change the numbers up, but are really tending to do like pretty similar things, okay? So 6.7 times 10 to the negative three. Okay, so when we look at that, we tend to be like 10 to the negative three. I have no idea what that number is. Um, and you don't have to know, right? So again, we have our 6.7. Okay, so this time when it's negative, like when it was positive, we went three spots to the right, yeah? Here we're gonna go three spots to the left, right? So we go like one, two, three. Okay, and again, there's two zeros. And then decimal point right here. Okay, and that would be our answer is 0 0.0067. That's all you gotta do, all right? Um, we'll look at a few other examples, but that's really the whole concept right there. So that's all you gotta know. So you just do that, take your time with it, and you're good. Okay, so what if you saw 67 million? Wait a second, I write this guy out, okay. And they said, put that in scientific notation. Okay, and obviously it's gonna be multiple choice, so we'll have a few answer choices. How do you do that? Okay, so usually we're gonna go back to our 6.7, right? Because almost for sure all the answer choices are gonna be like 6.7 times 10 to the something. So we'll write that part out too. 6.7 times 10 and then some number, right? Okay, so we st all we're gonna do here is we're gonna start right here at the end and we're just going to count how many spots we have to go until we get to the place in between the six and the seven right so it'd be like one two three four five six seven right here okay so ten to the seventh right that's all you gotta do we're done we're done with that question six point seven times ten to the seventh um could it all, it, you know, you could write it different ways, but that's gonna be uh, the answer that you're given. Uh, 6.7 times 10 to the seventh is correct. Okay, so what if we were looking at 67,000? Okay, and again, you would be looking at 6.7 times 10 to the what? Okay, so again, here's our starting point right at the end when we see the bigger numbers, right? And then we're just going to where the six and the seven are separated. One, two, three, four, right there. 6.7 times 10 to the fourth. Okay, so as you're looking at these, you're like, you know, like while it looks like it's one of the harder uh, things when we first look at it is really this doesn't really require a whole lot of math skills, right? Just knowing, go to the right, go to the left, how many spots, count them out. 
pretty much it. Right? That's what you need to know for scientific notation. So we're going to do two more still, though, right? just to give you two more examples. Okay, so what if it's this one? We do with this guy. Point zero 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 six seven. Okay, and I want that in scientific notation. Okay, so again, like all your answer choices are almost for sure going to be six point seven times ten to the something. Okay. So when you see a number that's less than one, like here, 0 0.00067 is definitely less than one, then we know this 10 is going to be times 10 to the negative something. So if there's any positive answers, you can at least cross those off, and then you don't even have to know anything else. So you can at least eliminate some answers, give yourself a better chance. But we'd like to get it right. Okay. And so on this one, we'll still start here until we get, again, in between the six and the seven, right? So one, two, three, four. There we are between the six and the seven. There's four numbers. It's going to be a negative 6.7 times 10 to the negative four. Okay. And one last one is what if they multiply them together? 6.7 times 10 to the fifth. What does that equal? Okay. And so if you look at that and you're not sure, Okay, so we've got our 6.7, right? And then we're thinking, let's see, so as we start here, 6.7, as I look at that, I will go five spots, right? So one, and then there will be four more, yes? So let me throw on four zeros. Okay, there's that. There's that. Pretend there was never a decimal place. And 670,000 will be our answer for 6.7 times 10 to the fifth. Right? So all I did is I started in between the six and the seven. Right? And then I just went five, uh, five spots to the right. Right? So the first one was just the seven. The other four were the zeros. And then I put the comma where it was supposed to be. And we got 670,000.